to skate. And next we go to Takeshi Honda of Japan, 20 years old. In his second Olympics, he was 15th in Nagano. No Japanese man has ever won an Olympic figure skating medal. That skate by Yagudin puts him into first place. American Michael Weiss in the tough spot of skating first of all. First of 29, currently third. Honda, who trains, as you see, in Ontario, Canada. Fifth at the World Championships last year. He doesn't enjoy this short program. He calls it too restrictive. He prefers the free skate. Don Quixote, his music. He, too, is planning a quad-triple combination. One of the most gifted jumpers I've ever seen. He's so natural. When he gets into his rhythm, everything is just huge and easy and effortless. A lot of speed going into this quad toe, triple toe. Quad toe, triple toe! Let the games begin. <laughs> Takeshi develop over all these years. He was so gifted, so young, that I think he almost took it for granted. He's had a lot of trouble with consistency because, in many respects, he was a typical teenager. He's distracted and he was interested in other things. But now it seems like he's much more focused. Triple X, beautiful. He'll be 21 in another month. by Doug Lee. We almost think that Takeshi chased Elvis out of the ring because he left Doug years ago. A lot of energy in this final spin. Clean short. <laughs> well, the quality of the skating, superb so far, as Takeshi Honda, bothered so much by ankle injuries throughout most of his career, still visits a chiropractor and an acupuncturist twice a week. And everyone in the world has waited for him to put a competition together. He usually makes the big mistake either in the short or the long. But if you look back to Alberville, skater very similar to that, put it together and came out of nowhere to win Olympic silver medal, Paul Wiley. He could be our Paul Wiley in this Olympic Games. <laughs> Someone said, good job, Takeshi, from the second level here. <laughs> and he pointed up at them. The speed, a little greater than Yagudin's. I don't think he's going to get better marks, but the speed of this quad toe, triple toe, is just amazing. <laughs> Doug Lee, who coached Brian Orser. And Elvis Stoiko. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Enjoy it. <laughs> Quad toe, triple toe. You've seen two in a row. The first two ever done in an Olympic competition. <laughs> a lot of speed going into this. Now watch how straight he is in the air. Perfect air position. He's just 
One, two, three, four. Look at the room he has on the way down. He, a little forward in the landing, a little sloppy there, but watch this. One, two, three, one foot, both landings, no deductions at all. Beautiful. <laughs> the team, uh, Takeshi, <laughs> celebrating uh, a beautiful short program. Well, it tends to be a box of chocolates, you know? You just <laughs> never quite know. Well, if he prefers to free skate, uh, he's off to a great start, because this was, I suspect, as well as he's ever skated under this kind of pressure. Let's see what the judges thought. We don't take anything for granted <laughs> anymore, anymore do we? No. <laughs> Very good marks again to Keshi. Young man, still developing, even though he's been on the scene for a long time. But he's got to be extremely thrilled. And his second mark actually goes up a little bit. There might have been a one-tenth deduction for a little stumble in the footwork sequence, but yes. you never know when you're going to take those. Gives him straight second place ordinals. And that puts him into second place behind Yagudin. Still much more skating to come from the Salt Lake Ice Center, including America's eldest.